Hello everyone, this is Kingkong IoT. This video, I will show you how to integrate CLB logic controller to Home Assistant by MQTT because we have made the new freeware for the CLB that support the MQTT TCP connection. Okay, let's look at how to do with it. Okay, let's look at this is Home Assistant diagram because we have already added the h 32 b relay controller on the Home Assistant. So you can see yes, this is uh, 32 channel relay. Uh, this is our logic controller, CLB. Uh, this is for digital input and the temperature and the analog input. This home assistant is running on Raspberry Pi. You can see when I try go for the digital input like this, I try go to the digital one. Uh, you can see this is on and I remove the twice. Uh, you can see this will be off. Also, we can see this is mobile phone. I can put it in this way. Because you have installed the Home Assistant application on your iOS or on your Android phone, you can use this mobile phone application. This is a fire temperature sensor. Uh, we can let it become up. You can see this. We can see the temperature. This is the temperature. And you can also see the computer. This is the temperature. Fire channel temperature is up. Uh, and this is a mobile phone. This is mobile phone temperature. And also you can test the analog input uh, for this analog input. Okay, now let's look at how to do with it. Uh, you can see this is how to use guide on the website. Uh, you can see the knowledge and the home assistant uh, you can find out this article that is for CLB. And the first, you need to update your freeware, make sure it's greater than this first. Just we can see the network setting, you can see the freeware version, uh, just as this version. How to download? Uh, you can go to our form. Uh, this is the news and download the CLB freeware. And then you can make sure uh, for the settings, uh, just for work mode, MQTT, and this is MQTT server and the point, and this is block name, username, and the password, just like this, because we have support the Ethernet for MQTT, so you can choose this option in MQTT, and this is the IP and the port, just a uh, Raspberry Pi, and you can, maybe you have the block running on the Windows PC or maybe on your other device, uh, you just choose the IP and the port because this is Raspberry Pi, this is IP and this is a port and this is MQTT block, uh, the username and the password you just, uh, you can see this Moscute block and uh, because I have configured the username is MQTT and the password is 123, uh, you can change it. Uh, just uh, this is as thing as this setting. So you can see, uh, go on for these settings. And now you just uh, uh, to write and change the configuration.yaml uh, file uh, in Home Assistant, just a fill edit. You will find uh, this YAML file. Uh, this is for D1, Digital 1, and Digital 2. Uh, just uh, is this state topic and uh, this is 16 channel for digital input and now you can see the fire temperature this is the topic of the temperature this is one two three four five and this began the analog input just the topic and the one two three four uh, until 16 channel uh, this i have write uh, the change the range uh, this is because because our analog sensor is input is 0 to 5 volt so if you have used a human sensor like the range is 0 to 100 percent so you need to the value and uh, the 20 twice so you can just uh, at this place uh, just uh, use this uh, 20 times and this is the unit uh, the unit the default I have write the voltage and you can write the percent or if you have the watt 
What level sensor you can uh, write it here by meet or by other unit just uh, for this function. And uh, you can also see the, this website, uh, how to integrate the topic with the digital input and the analog input and the temperature. And also you can download this file. Uh, this file, this demo file config, I have uploaded to this place you can download. And uh, after all your settings, you just restart and you will see uh, this dashboard. So it's very easy. Just do these steps. And uh, the bottom of this, uh, this is the command uh, for development. Uh, you, if you can write for your software by MQTT, so you can uh, use a lead, lead sensor command, and this is feedback, and the lead digital input, and the lead analog input, and the lead temperature sensor. And also, this is a command for disable and enable the auto report function. The default is auto report is enabled. So, this is the Home Assistant. Uh, integrate with MQTT. So this is how to use the CLB integrate Home Assistant with the MQTT. Okay, thanks for watching.